I want to talk about Romeo Dubs. Wide receiver for the Packers. Fourth round pick. Aaron Rodgers, the the quintessential quarterback that never likes to give any love to the r- rookies. He's been pro- proclaiming Dubs as, as the next big thing. That he makes wow plays every single day. Peter King believes he'll have a prominent role early. We all know there's opportunities, Ryan. We, there, there's going to be a chance for somebody to get on the field. Right now, it looks like it's the fourth-round rookie out of Nevada and a guy that we were getting in the fourth round in a lot of rookie drafts just a few weeks ago. I mean, looking at the depth chart, you you said the key word there. It's, it's opportunity because we've, we've got the names and you know maybe Dubs is third or fourth on this depth chart right now, but I don't see a name on that list that he couldn't conceivably overcome. I mean, even Alan Lazard has been uh, a a guy who's gaining value and and has pretty high expectations. Even Lazard has not stood out as a, I mean, certainly not an elite talent or really anything special. He's just been a solid receiver over his career. So could, could dubs overcome Christian Watson? Certainly Randall Cobb, Sammy Watkins. Yes, for sure. Um, it, It, it feels like a pretty high ceiling for Romeo Dubs right now. Is he worth a second round pick now? Because that's what I saw him go for in one league. I think it was a 2024. And then I heard you just made a deal for him, including a second round pick too. I know that's a little bit of a different kind of league. So maybe if you can expand on your thinking there about like what makes him a second already, especially if it's a 2023 second. Yeah, it was a 2023 second. And I, I swapped picks in the deal. So I got a third back and, and I was a team. I'm a team that that is a contender and the other team was a is probably expected to be in a rebuild and 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 looking towards the future so maybe it's only swapping a handful of picks uh, you know five five picks at the most six seven eight picks at the most so that's the kind of deal i did i have heard about late rookie drafts that are happening right around now and dubs is creeping towards the second round if you were to do your rankings right now, Matt, could you keep him out of the top 24, you think? Man, I'd really have to go back and look. Uh, I think Ryan talked about his recent ADP in the early third round pick. So, I mean, I definitely can see it happening now, especially in this class. My, I guess my question is, is as much as we like the next class, uh, you know, it, it, are, are people really willing to pay that? And I guess they are. So, um yeah i mean with this class the way the way that end of, end of the second round looks i could i can definitely see him sneaking in there in these late late drafts i, I think it's a uh, it's maybe more than likely now that he outproduces christian watson in year one mm-hmm. uh, especially if watson doesn't get back from this 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 cleanup surgery all that kind of stuff so i mean w- I mean, it seems ridiculous to say I'm going to trade trade Christian Watson for him. But at this time next season, we could be certainly be talking about dubs, um, you know, over just based on the production from year one. And, and Watson has the athletic upside, all that kind of stuff. But, you know, that doesn't necessarily always matter with Aaron Rodgers at quarterback. He doesn't necessarily need the athletic freak to, to make a productive wide receiver. So how far are we moving Watson down now? Uh, with with this news and and the combined news of him struggling one tool that i love on dlf is our mfl rookie adp uh and and my favorite thing to do with that is filter by date that's rookie adp data pulled straight from my fantasy league rookie drafts and uh, of course you can look at uh, take a look at that throughout the offseason or as i said you can filter by dates i looked at drafts that have taken place just over the last week we're talking since the 1st of August. Um, there haven't, haven't been a ton of them. Uh, we're relatively small sample size, but Romeo Dubs is up to 26 overall. Christian Watson uh, down to 11 overall. So yes, they're, they're definitely trending in different directions toward each other.